kids! Today, we will learn rounding off the numbers. First of all, what is rounding off? Rounding is to replace the number with another one that has value approximately equal to our original number, but is simpler, shorter, and easier to represent and use in any calculation. It makes no less exact, but simpler to calculate. Rounding can be to the nearest 10, nearest 100, or nearest 1000. Rounding off to nearest 10. So let's first learn rounding to the nearest 10. Here are a few numbers. 12, 34, 27, 88, 45, 65. We have to round them up to the nearest 10. Let's start with 12. See the number line? Where can you fit 12 on this number line? It is somewhere between 10 and 20. Whenever you want to round a number, there are always two options. Either we can round it down to 10 or round it up to 20. Think, which option do you think is more apt? Here is a rule to help you. We have a five mark midway between the two tens, always. If the number is above the five mark, you round it up. And if the number is below five mark, you round it down. Here, 12 is below the 5 mark. Also, 12 is only 2 numbers away from 10, whereas it is 8 numbers away from 20. So, we will round it down to 10. Okay, let's take the next number, 65. Where can you fit 65 on this number line? It is somewhere between 60 and 70. Whenever you want to round a number, there are always two options. Either we can round it down to 60 or round it up to 70. Think, which option do you think is more apt? Here, 65 is midway between 60 and 70 or it is on the 5 mark. What do we do now? 65 is 5 numbers away from 60 and 5 numbers away from 70. Here we have a simple rule. Whenever a number is on the 5 mark, we always round it up. See the figure. The numbers 0 to 4 are rounded down to 0 and 5 to 9 are rounded up to 10. Likewise, 11 to 14 are rounded down to 10 and 15 to 19 are rounded up to 20. Numbers 21 to 24 are rounded down to 20. Numbers 25 to 29 are rounded up to 30. So kids, we learned that in rounding off to nearest 10, numbers are rounded down if it's below the 5 mark and rounded up if it's on or above the 5 mark. Now let's learn what is rounding off to the nearest 100. Here we have a few numbers. 12, 68. 123, 167, 199. We have to round them up to the nearest 100. 12. Let's start with 12. See the number line. Where can you fit 12 on this number line? It is somewhere between 0 and 100. Whenever you want to round a number, there are always two options. 
Either we can round it down to previous hundred, or round it up to next hundred. Think, which option do you think is more apt? Here is a rule to help you. You have a 50 mark midway between two hundreds, as there was a 5 mark when you round off numbers to nearest 10. If the number is above the 50 mark, you round it up, and if the number is below 50 mark, you round it down. Year 12 is below the 50 mark, so we will round it down to zero. Okay, let's take the next number, 68. We have to round 68 to nearest 100. Let's see where we can fit 68 on this number line. It is somewhere between 0 and 100. So we have two options. Either round it down or we can round it up, that is, to 100, that is, to 0. Think. According to the rule, if the number comes after the 50 mark, the number is rounded up. And if the number comes before the 50 mark, the number is rounded down. So, here our number, 68, is after the 50 mark. So we will round it up to 100. Now let's take another example. 123. We have to round 123 to the nearest 100. Let's see where we can fit 123 on this number line. It is somewhere between 100 and 200. Here our number 123 is before the 50 mark. So, we will round it down to 100. Now, let's take another example. 278. We have to round 278 to the nearest 100. Let's see where we can fit 278 on this number line. It is somewhere between 200 and 300. 278 is after the 50 mark, so we will round it up to 300. Now let's take another example. 450. We have to round 450 to the nearest 100. Let's see where we can fit 450 on this number line. It is somewhere between 400 and 500. The number is on the 50 mark that also is rounded up. So we will round it up to 500. See the figure. All the numbers between 0 to 49 are rounded down to 0. And 50 to 99 are rounded up to 100. Likewise, 100 to 149 are rounded down to 100. And 150 to 199 are rounded up to 200. So kids, we learned that in rounding off to nearest 100, we round the number to nearest 100. By rounding it down, if it's below or before the 50 mark, and round it up if it's above or after the 50 mark. Now, we will learn rounding up the numbers to nearest thousands. Let's start with 400. See the number line? Where can you fit 400 on this number line? It is somewhere between 0 and 1,000. Now we know there are always two options. Either we can round the number up or round it down. 
depending on whether the number is after or before the midway mark, and midway mark between thousands is 500, and 400 is below or before the 500 mark. So we will round it down to zero. 400 is more than zero. Let's take the next number. 890. We have to round 890 to the nearest thousand. See the number line. Where can you fit 890 on this number line? It is somewhere between 0 and 1,000. 890 is above or after the 500 mark, so we will round it up to 1,000. Now, let's take another example. 1,230. We have to round 1,230 to nearest thousand. See the number line? Where can you fit 1,230 on this number line? It is somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000. As 1,230 is below or before the 500 mark, so we will round it down to 1,000. 1,230, 1,000. Now let's take another example. 1,689. We have to round 1,689 to nearest thousand. Where can you fit 1,689 on this number line? It is somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000. As 1,689 is above or after the 500 mark. So we will round it up to 2,000. Let's have a look at this figure to understand it more. All the numbers 0 to 499 are rounded down to previous thousand, that is, zero, because they are below the 500 mark or the midway mark between zero and 1,000. All the numbers 500 to 999 are rounded up to thousands, as they are on or above the 500 mark. Likewise, if you want to round off numbers, 1,001 to 1,499, they will be rounded down to previous thousand, that is 1,000, because they're below 500 mark. And numbers 1,500 to 1,999 will be rounded up to next thousand, that is 2,000, as they are above the 500 mark. So kids, we learned that in rounding off the nearest 1,000, we round to the number to nearest thousands. By rounding it down, if it's below or before the 500 mark, and round it up if it's above or after the 500 mark. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.